Wow, this is great. They're just gonna block us in here now. Like, there's a drunk driver, and here comes the ambulance. Beautiful. Isn't this just wonderful? Oh, he better not come after me. Hey guys, welcome back to LCPDFR and GTA 4. Today we are going to be in the Los Angeles County Sheriff's uh, CVPI here. And yeah, we're over here in a long one today. Going to be doing some traffic enforcement as well as taking some calls. We will go ahead and do some role play as well. So we're going to be units. Um, I've had a lot of people actually ask me like how I get the unit number. And I've told some people, like, basically I just pick a random number every patrol. So basically, I mean, I'm just going to look around. It's usually the first number that I come across. So why not? We'll be we'll be unit 40 today. That's our squad number, but it's going to be our unit number as well. So anyways, let's go ahead and advise this batch that we are going to be available for call out. And uh, as you may or may not can tell, my throat is a little bit sore. So it's, it's probably going to sound a little bit different, but that should not really affect us today. Um, but like I said, let's go ahead and tell dispatch what we're doing. Liberty 70, show me 10 eight. All right, and we are now available for call out. We're gonna go ahead and turn on our radar. And yeah, this is a sleep top that we're in today. It looks pretty good, in my opinion. I mean, I like it. Uh, we're all using basically Los Angeles cars. We have an automatic burglar. Okay, so that's like Grand Theft Auto pretty much. And I'm just gonna take a look where it's at. Well, it's actually over here in the docks. Oh no, that's not the docks, that's uh... Uh, what is that? That's the bus station, I think? Maybe? No, the bus station's... Yeah, I don't know. That might be the bus station. I cannot remember. But anyways, we'll go ahead and... I'm pretty sure that's the bus station. We're going to be in route code 3 to that. So I need to get on... No, I don't need to get on that highway. Oh, I hit the wrong button, so I actually told him that I was quitting the search. I forgot about the uh, key binding, so that's actually... Wilder's callouts that gave us that call out, and I didn't think about that. Um, I have a bad key binding for that. But anyways, we will go ahead and kind of check traffic in the meantime and see what we can come across. I'm not sure why my headlights keep turning on and off. It's kind of weird. But okay, this guy right here is kind of all over the road. I'm not sure. Wait a minute. I just heard glass break bad there. Yeah, we got something crazy going on back here. I'm gonna spin around. I th think it probably happened right there underneath us. So I'm gonna go around the corner here. Huh, there's a lot of weird stuff going on here. It might have been this guy. Let's let's check this guy out. He's just kind of sitting over here. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and try to get him to stop. Um... Yeah, this was definitely him. He raked or something. So we're just going to do a welfare check on him. Make sure he's okay. Obviously, he can't be driving that car since it's got that much damage. All right, where is he going? I really have no idea what this guy's trying to do here. With this car here. You need to stop, buddy. All right, so we are in traffic at this point. We're kind of up here still on a long one, but we're kind of going towards the main part of the city. Uh, I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on traffic and seeing what, um, you know, how everybody's driving. Make sure nobody's breaking any traffic laws or anything like that. And now we have the green. I'm going to go right. Make sure they stop. Jeez, look like they were about to run straight through that red. And I really, I cannot figure out why my headlights keep turning off. It's really, really annoying. Okay, so we have a person with cardiac arrest. Megs have already been dispatched. Uh, so that's actually kind of closer to where we started out this patrol. So we're going to be in route code 3. Alright, and they should be... Where? 
I need to go straight another block and then hang a right. Actually, I'm just gonna go this way. Okay, so we're gonna hang a right up here and they should be somewhere like in this little strip mall sort of thing. Okay, so medics have already been dispatched apparently. We're definitely gonna issue a citation to that person. Okay, so it looks like it's shut down. Yeah, it's not showing the person being up here anymore, so uh, for some reason, it looks like it crashed. Wilder's, Wilder's callouts must have crashed. So what we are going to do now, though, since we are cleared from that incident, is we're going to go ahead. Like, here comes the medics here. Nice drift. Tokyo drifting. Wow, I don't know what they're doing. I was going to try to see, you know, if maybe the person's still up here. I just didn't see him or something, but I don't see him. Um... <clears throat> so yeah, we are going to go back over here to this van that's just parked in the middle of the road. Screw the stolen vehicle. I'm giving him a ticket, you know. <laughs> as soon as traffic will allow. Yeah, here we go. I, I don't understand how you just park in the middle of the road right here. It just does not make any sense to me at all. Yeah, my headlights are killing me. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it night, just so the headlights will stay on. Because it's really pissing me off that the, the headlights keep turning themselves on and off. Um, okay. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and step out and issue a citation to this vehicle. We're actually gonna go ahead and call for a tow truck. I mean, they're parked in the middle of the road, so... We're gonna go ahead and write them the ticket first, just so they do receive a fine for it. And we're gonna step in front of the car out of traffic here, let them go by. And go ahead and call for the tow truck service. I mean, it really is blowing my mind that they're just going to leave their car in the middle of the road. Like, this is a secondary road, but it's still a secondary road. You know, there's definitely a lot of traffic over here. Uh, so, tow truck service should be here momentarily. I hear them. They're somewhere around here. I just heard them backing up. Oh, there we are. Right over there. Okay, so they're coming. I'm gonna go ahead and get out of the rain, step back in my vehicle, and, I mean, there's nothing else that I can do until the tow truck service is on, actually on scene. So we're just gonna sit here and kind of give them room to do their job. They're still, they're gonna go through that entire, like, yard, though. That's okay. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. But they're on scene now. We have a drunk, uh, reports a drunk driver, so... Let's go ahead and, yeah, just right down the road from us. So we're going to go ahead and flip back around here and try to find this drunk driver. Okay, tow truck. Wow. That's not how you do your job. Sorry. Wow, this is great. They're just going to block us in here now. Like, there's a drunk driver and here comes the ambulance. Beautiful. Isn't this just wonderful? Oh, he better not come after me. You better not come after me, dude. You're coming after me. I will kill you. Yeah. Yeah. Try to rob me again. Try to take my car. Idiot. It's obvious I was the victim of that crash. Right, now I'm stuck in the ditch. And the tow truck's just gonna keep going. Alright, this is so not legit at all. This is completely non-legit. Alright, so... Yeah, tow ticker crash. Uh, go figure. So, yeah, this drunk driver is long gone, it looks like. I mean, he's all the way down there in Middle Park now. There's no way in hell we're gonna be able to catch this guy. Especially with traffic. I mean, it's ridiculous here. So we're definitely going to watch traffic here, try to not get killed. Um, that's a pretty nice little dent we have there. So I'm going to try to refrain from getting hit again. 
This is gonna be our exit right here. We're gonna get off and try to investigate. Don't stop, dude. You have to move to the right so I can get through. I mean, that doesn't help anybody just stop in the middle of the road. Wow, the rain is coming down, guys. It's, it's gonna be a little hard to drive in if I actually do end up in a pursuit. So let's go ahead and check and see if we're anywhere close. And now, of course, he's moving back down that way. Perfect. For a drunk driver, this guy is absolutely hauling ass. Alright, so we're just going to gun it. I mean, I, there's nothing else I can do. I'm just going to gun it and stick towards the middle of the road. Three intersections, try not to get killed. Alright, do you guys want to move or no? Okay, so I'm guessing we probably just lost the guy. Nope, he is moving back this way. Like, which way are you going? Seriously. I mean, this is absolutely freaking ridiculous. First, it's going one. It's like he's just doing a donut around us. I'm gonna catch this guy. I'm determined to now, just because he's doing this. Let's just check our check our map. Okay, so he did get off. And he's doing a big giant freaking loop. So we're gonna get off the same. And we are closing in the distance on him. Guys, you can't tell I'm getting a little frustrated with this. Because I am hauling ass, and this guy is still outrunning me. I mean, I'd love to just get a visual on the guy. He's turning back around. He is turning back around. You know what? Screw this. I've got a better idea. I've got a better idea. We're going to do this. And this is cheating. Absolutely. 100%. But, um... Where, where is he? Okay, so he's right over here. We're gonna go ahead and make a left on this one, even though it's one way. Please stop. Get out of the way. Come on. Alright, so we are almost right on top of this guy. He is right over here. We're going to make a right. And here's our guy. Yeah, you're going to run right into me. You are dead, dude. You are dead. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Get down. I'm, a, I'm just going to beat this guy to death if I have to. Do you want to get it again? Turn around. Okay, we're in the loop. Oh, he's dead. I just killed him. I'm not exactly sure what's going to happen here because we're in the arrest loop. Um, okay, so we just got us out of it. Perfect. So, yeah. We're just going to say he passed out. I'm going to take his money for evidence. But, uh, go ahead and call for a tow truck and a medic for him. I'm going to yank this dude out because he just ran into my car. Where did he just go? <laughs> He just got thrown up like 20 feet in the air. Alright, so we're going to try to take control of the scene. It's obviously not going to happen. I mean, that drunk driver destroyed the front end of our car. Alright, so we're finally clear on this scene. So much for realism, but, you know, <laughs> there's only so much you can do. There really is. We're going to go ahead and have to call for a mechanic for our car. We're just going to leave the barriers up until we get it repaired. 